owner of Ifes Palace allegedly unsettled as, you know, wives blocked his convoy um, demand for explanation and, you know, equality as he approved Queen Naomi to go on a trip with his private jet to Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dela Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the south. It's still on the royals. Um, Dela writes, um, <laughs> um, happy Wednesday to all of you. Midweek, I hope your day is going as planned. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support to this channel. I would never, ever take your support for granted. I appreciate you. Thank you for all your great comments. The good, the bad, the ugly. I appreciate them so much. Thank you so much. Now, if you have been following my trend, uh, sometime last year, there was a news that came to um, us that Queen Ami was about to make a trip to Trinidad and Tobago for a conference, okay? And, and this conference is, is organized by the United Nations uh, Women. And so... Um, uh, so she was supposed to be um, a main speaker in that event. And so she was scheduled to go around November for that event. But when the um, crisis in um, the Middle East broke out, they said they had to shift that conference um, because the um, ma major UN organizers had to go to the Middle East to respond to, of course, um, the crisis there. So right now, a uh, report reaching us is that the conference is um, um, coming up in um, February and Kwinami is still uh, one of their major speakers for that conference. Now, they said this conference is taking place in um, Trinidad, and uh, the conference is called the Regional Conference on Women in Latin America. It's a long-standing subsidiary body of Economic Commission for Latin America and Caribbean with broad participation of government and the United Nations system, civil society organizations, and particularly women um, um, uh, feminist movement organization. So this conference is a very big conference in the Latin America. And, you know, they, I, I really think that they invited Queen Naomi because of her stride. Only recently, she has been going from one place to the other speaking, as in she's been going around the world. Some of those meetings are not, like, uh, made public. Like, not like they're not made public, but it's uh, usually, uh, like, uh, when they just take her on her way, she will go and perhaps just take one or two pictures and come back. So now you do know I have come here to tell you that in the entire world, there are so many different countries who are speaking Yoruba, okay? Um, in the Latin American region, they have um, countries like Venezuela, Cuba, Trinidad, and Tobago, Tobago, sorry, um, Puerto Rico, and Haiti. They speak Yoruba. The, uh, Yoruba is their major language. For Cuba, the Yoruba language is called Lukumi. And for Brazil, the Yoruba language is called uh, Nago, okay? Okay, you know, during slave trade, um, the slave masters took a lot of um, Africans to so many different countries and, you know, they started, you know, um, um, uh, growing there. And so that's why you find Yoruba all over the world. And that is why the Oni of Ife holds a very big position uh, because it's not just recognized in Nigeria, it's recognized across the globe, especially in countries um, who speak, um, that speak Yoruba and believe in the Ife tradition uh, because they believe that they are uh, um, origin is from Ile Ife, so Oni of Ife is their leader. Now, without dry, digressing, Quinami is supposed to go for this conference, and the problem with this is that Oni of, of Ife approved, um, 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 allegedly has approved that Quinami will go with his private jet. And, you know, that is something Oni does not usually do. Like, Oni travels in his private jet all by himself. And you do know that this, the latest private jet that Oni is using now is a very expensive private jet. They say he bought that private jet with the contribution also of Dr. Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth has had, got a very big phobia for flight. 
flight. And they said that the only way she flies comfortably is if they are flying their own private jet. Oni had a private jet before now, but that private jet started giving him a lot of problems. And that private jet has been left in abeyance now. And I think they have um, sent it back because if you own a private jet, it's not just by owning a private jet, it's a parking space for your par- private jet, the landing space that is a problem. Every day you park a private jet in the airport, you pay from your nose, okay? And so right now, um, that private jet is something only does not usually like um, permit any woman to go out with. They want, they, one time we had only travel was with Dr. Elizabeth and they went to Switzerland to look at the companies Dr. Elizabeth left in Switzerland and they went in that private jet. You can never ever hear that Mariam used that private jet or Ashley used the private jet or um, any other person, but only approved that that private jet should take uh, Queen Naomi to Trinidad and Tobago. And this did not go well with the wives who are saying, you need to explain to us why you marry so many of us and you do not treat us equally. We are asking for equality. We are not asking for anything else. As a great polygamist, the one thing you want to do to make a statement is to treat your wives equally. And these women are saying, look, we are not being treated equally. We want to find out what Nami has that we do not have that make you treat her so much better than us. The private jet that you will never allow anybody. They said only recently... Um, uh, Mariam had wanted to go to um, Scotland in that private jet. Oni declined. And I'm going to come back to that story later. Oni declined that Mariam is not going anywhere with the private jet, that he was going to buy Mariam a first class ticket to travel to Scotland. Mariam was not going to use his tri- private jet. Now, um, the fact that um, these women know that they are not going to stay in the palace anymore, um, they think that, of course, no matter what happens, it might not be a win-win for them. They have to struggle and do whatever it is that they will have to do. And so they are not, like, not, not, not um, um, ready to kind of uh, give in to anything that Oni is going to say that will not come to a benefit to them. They are ready to fight it because they feel that they are actually fighting for their right. Oni marry them. Oni has no right to marry them and not give them what they deserve as wives. Now, this issue with marginalization is really taking a toll, a toll um, on the peace of the palace. Um, a lot of people are beginning to come out to say to the owner of Ife that if you want peace, you maybe you might want to begin to treat these women equally, as they have told you that for you to have peace in this palace, you need to treat these women equally. But Oni is going by his emotion, I guess, his feelings for Queen Naomi, and he feels that Queen Naomi is superior, and he feels like Queen Nami should come first, maybe or maybe not because of Tade Nikawa, but um, uh, what is going on is that the wives are not liking it and they are fighting back to back. And this fight right now is about the private jet. Let's see what tomorrow's fight will be about. Wanted to bring you this update. I'm going to bring you more. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.